Avocado. Avocado. Hey guys, welcome to episode two, season three of The Young God, a podcast for gods. And I'm your host, Rodney Amalkache. It's good to be back. Today's episode was inspired by a video of actor Will Smith speaking the absolute truth at a promotional event of his latest Bad Boys movie, which was mad fun, by the way. I highly, highly recommend. So this video, this video went viral and for good reason. It just made sense, like, like you know a universal truth when you hear it. And it was exactly what we needed to hear at the beginning of the year. You're probably wondering what video exactly because Will Smith says a lot of sensible things all the time. Well, it has something to do with believing in yourself, except Will Smith made the concept hit home in a way that it really does. He took the concept and made it practical. Some of you may have seen it, so you already know it when you hear it. Those of you who haven't are in for a treat. The audio version of the clip will play after this intro, after which I will give it the younger treatment. Stay tuned, cause this is a good one. Everybody has dreams. And and and, and as much as you 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 want to be able to listen a little bit, because somebody's gonna give you a gem, but you nobody knows but you. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life, right? Nobody knows what you are. Mm-hmm. Like even even sometimes you don't really even know what you what you are. You got to take your shot. Mm-hmm. And it, it's like as much as you want people to agree and you want the people around you to be supporting your dreams and all, it's not going to be like that all the time. You got to do it alone. And people will help you. And when you when you get the ball rolling, people will jump on. But if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe. People come along because your belief is so insane that your belief is so strong that makes people be like, yo, this crazy. (laughs) I think anybody who's ever done something or tried to do something worth doing can relate. When my nigga Will said, You can't get advice on what you should do with your life. Your life. I felt that shit. And I felt that way for the longest time. Will essentially validated something I realized maybe nine, ten years ago. And it's something I have continuously emphasized in how I live my life to this day. To this day. My father gets mad sometimes because he gives all this great advice and I don't act on them. I listen. I don't even argue. Afterwards, I go and do what I want to do. It baffles him because, one, he's experienced, two, he's my father, and three, my dad is a god, yo. The first god I ever knew. That nigga knows things and has done things and has overcome things that I can't even begin to imagine. In fact, I'll be lucky if I'm half the man he is. So if there's anybody whose advice I should cling to for dear life, it's his. I listen very attentively, but I go forth and do my thing. And he just doesn't get it. He doesn't get that his advice, as valuable as it is, just doesn't apply to my life as I live it. Some of them do. Some, just a few, but ultimately... I have this sense of self, this sense of purpose and and direction that compels me to go in a direction that is different. You know, the road less taken because it's my road, you know. Understand something. Failing or succeeding is not the point. It's about knowing who you are, what you need, listening to yourself and then being at peace with whatever the outcome is. When you're able to do that enough times, You develop a strong intuition that serves you well the further you go in life. You all know what intuition is, right? We've at least heard about it, but I think it's still a faraway concept for most people. So allow me break it down. Intuition is the gift you get for trusting yourself regardless of the outcome. 
it is a reward for listening when the voice, that little voice was still quiet. Eventually, with time and experience, the voice gets louder and more pronounced and more accurate. The more you listen to it and trust it, the more fine-tuned it becomes until it leads you to exactly where you need to be and who you're supposed to be. Intuition is an underrated weapon in this life, yo. You have no idea. Unfortunately, because we tend to ignore that voice too easily in the beginning, we never develop that relationship with ourselves. So our intuitive powers are either dormant in women or simply just non-existent in men. We spend... (laughs) Yeah, maybe I should clarify the last part. You know how they talk about women's intuition? A woman's intuition? Well, women are naturally blessed from birth with that intuition, you know, but men have to develop it over time. Like it's rarer in men. So um, it's always there in women and sometimes it shows its head. But if you don't have it as a guy, you don't have it. Like you're just going on pure logic. And if your logic is not developed on your own, so, well, that's that. But anyway, we spend our entire lives doubting, second-guessing ourselves, wasting valuable time, bothering people with our problems and asking for advice when we could just peace, be still, and listen to what our intuition is trying to say. It also doesn't help that everything else is louder than our intuition. All the unimportant things, all the self-doubt, the opinions of others are so much louder, so it's difficult to pay attention But the few people who manage to quiet the noise can tell you that it is the gift that keeps on giving. It is the gift of the gods. Speaking of gods, I don't go to people for advice. I mean, if I don't take my dad's advice, whose advice am I going to take, right? So what I can do is I I ask for help, but not advice. Does that make sense? I ask for help. Not for advice. I can ask for their opinion, but not for advice. I go to myself for advice. I already know myself, so I know what I must do. Even when I don't know, I know that the only way to know is to listen to that voice that knows what's good for me, even if consciously I don't know. This is this is God-level shit, yeah. And some of you know what I'm talking about. Will Smith knows what I'm talking about. As Will said, nobody knows what you need but you. Nobody knows what you're facing but you. People can try to give you advice, but it's usually either from their own perspective or they have an agenda. Just think about it. Like Half the time, you already know what you want to do or need to do, but you just need to hear it from someone else. Or maybe you just don't want to take responsibility for your own decision. It's rarely ever that you just don't know. You can't get advice on what you should do with your life. Preach, Will. Preach. Will's message is a call to be braver and calmer. Just just calm down and put one foot in front of the other. Figure it out as you go. Clarity follows action, not the other way around. You don't need to always know where you're going. All you need to know is that you're getting somewhere. You're moving forward. You know what it is? Now that I think about it, sometimes you know what you're supposed to do, but you go to people so that they will tell you what you want to hear or justify you taking the easy way out. Think about it. You always know the right thing to do, the right thing for you. But fear or whatever else has you checking in with your pastor Checking in with your gym instructor, your best friend, your second best friend, your co-worker, and your babalao. And by the time it's all said and done, you got all these voices confusing you. And whatever decision you make at that point is not really yours or for you. I'm just challenging you to imagine a world, a life, a mental space where you're more certain, more in tune with yourself more in tune with your star player, that person in the mirror, where you're more confident with your decisions and your direction. That's easier said because 
one doesn't suddenly start becoming brave. Like you don't, you don't just start being brave from nowhere. You must have a track record of thinking for yourself and, you know, taking your own advice. And most people aren't like that. Most people like to go to people. Most people like to be told what to do and sometimes what to think. And it always, always ends in tears. I'll be right back. Let's explore a different angle for a moment. Because of the, of the content I create both on this podcast and on my personal Instagram, I come off as a person who has it figured out, sort of, and knows things. And that tends to attract quite a number of people needing advice. Truth is, I welcome it because in sharing their stories with me, I get to learn a lot about people and situations that I've never been in. It's fun. It's it's a good exercise for me because my life is mostly drama-free. So the best way I can learn is from the stories and experiences of others. But the one thing I never do, or at least try not to, is give advice as if I know. So yeah, not only do I like not take advice, I try not to give it, you know? Like what I try to do though, is help them think for themselves, help them see things as they are so that they can make the best possible decision for themselves. You know, teach them to fish as opposed to giving them the fish. I think that's way better than just giving advice willingly. In fact, that's what the best therapists do. They listen to you speak for hours and they just like lead you towards the answer as opposed to like telling you what it is. You know what I mean? It's one of the reasons I don't listen to motivational speakers. I feel like I don't need anybody to motivate me to do the things I'm supposed to do like, like, I don't know, follow my dreams or, or follow through my goals or try to be the best version of myself. Bro, life is hard, yo. Chaos is all around the corner. And if you don't show up, you will not be prepared for when that chaos strikes. There's always chaos waiting for us in the future. And the present is, 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 is our chance to prepare for that chaos coming. I want to be reliable and capable. So I have no choice but to, you know, show up. And that's motivation enough for me. I don't need a, a, a pastor or some life coach to ginger me or, or those YouTube videos with some black guy shouting over inspirational music. I don't need that. Motivation is like a drug, I always say. It always wears off. People go to listen to these speakers to make them feel like they're doing the work. But once the drug wears off, they're back to the status quo. And any drug you have to depend on someone else to get is never worth it. Trust me. Motivation should come from within. Inspiration should come from within. You should inspire you. Looking in the mirror should motivate you. Every time you make eye contact with your reflection, that should be your motivation to go out and do the most. Because that's your main priority. That's your focus. That's your that's your star player, man. Because all the work you're doing is to make the future better for that person in the mirror. You say you want happiness and success and peace, yet you need external motivation to get that? <laughs> what? That that doesn't that doesn't add up. That's that mere mortal shit. Mere mortal shit, man. We're trying to be gods around here. And I'm sorry to say, but that is how I see it. If you love yourself, you will be motivated regardless. Think about it. Let's say you have a family. You love them, obviously. You love your siblings. So you get up every day to make sure that they never lack. That they are fine and, you know, flourishing. They motivate you constantly. Now, apply that same love to yourself. What would you do for you to make sure you never lack mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially? That's all the motivation you should ever need. Now, I'm not saying that motivational speakers are trash or that your pastor is trash or, um, you know, anything like that. I'm just challenging you to apply the wisdom and truths they share. 
Because half the stuff they say, you already know it at some level. You don't need someone to tell you that life is short or that you're amazing or that you're capable or to be yourself or whatever else they feed us with. You already know that deep down inside. Don't just wallow in that warm, fuzzy feeling that their messages give you. Because that's not what's real. That is not what's real. You will go to bed and wake up and the drug would have worn off and then it's back to the doldrums. From time to time, I've been told. In fact, yeah, like a lot of times. In fact, just yesterday I was told, Rodney, you inspire me. And that's dope, yo. That's, that's sweeter than mother's milk. Whew. You know what it means to inspire someone? Do you know what it means to like, to, to be responsible to some degree for the, the progress in another person's life? Whoa. Like, it's dope. It's, it's, it's a great feeling. But what I really want is for you to be able to get it for yourself. Because if I fall short tomorrow, if I, if, I, if I fall short of what I, I say I'm about tomorrow, if I slip up and become the opposite of everything that I say I am, does the inspiration I give you go away as well? When I was younger, I had people who inspired me and motivated me. So I know how useful it is to have role models and things of that nature. But eventually, you got to get it from within. You got to grow up and put th those guys aside and realize that everything you need is within you and around you. Be your own inspiration. Listen to yourself. Develop your intuition and take your own advice. That's that God mentality. That's how gods do. This is the young God. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Young God. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it far and wide. Do subscribe and leave a rating. Also, follow the Instagram page and Twitter page for content exclusive to The Young God Gang. Yeah, that's what I call you guys now. Young God Gang. Let's get it. My Twitter is at I am the Young God, and my IG is at the Young God Pod. My DMs are always open to hear any feedback, suggestions, or shoutouts. You can also send in a voice message via the link in the, in the podcast bio. I would love to hear your voice and possibly include it in future episodes. See you next week on the next episode of The Young God. Rodney out. <laughs>